Designers need to be leaders. They're the people that are pulling together all of the risks and the issues. Because at the end of the day, we're creating this definition of the look, the feel, and the behavior of the object. And everything else falls into line behind that. The Alloy is one of the larger industrial design firms in the UK. We're in the top five in the business. We do experience-led industrial design. We spend an awful lot of time talking to end users and actually understanding how we can solve their problems and make the product better to use through its external form. We win a lot of awards for design effectiveness. We have some very long-term relationships. It's the fact that our creativity is focused on what users need. And we're very good at making this kind of leap from being human focused to very, very technical. Our competitive advantage comes from the way we actually achieve a holistic approach to innovation. We're doing 40 to 50 projects a year and NX allows us to maintain a high degree of productivity at this core strategic stage in the innovation cycle. What used to be strategy that took months is being condensed down into weeks and NX is absolutely central to that. Most of our work, 80% of it, involves collaborations with mechanical engineering teams and electronic teams all over the world. Lean Innovation is one of the big benefits from using us. It's a combination of solutions that are better fitted to customer need, delivered more efficiently. Now if you think of this in the context of global innovation supply chains, the reason it's so important is the complexity of those supply chains. Our ability to create a very precise handover to them is hugely beneficial. I mean, if you think of how much work is involved in recreating the industrial design shell, then we can save people up to 50 to 60 percent of their engineering effort if they take our designs and, and go with the flow. NX gives the designers wonderful control over what they're doing from the very, very beginning of the process. NX is invaluable for us um, in the early phases of a project. Um, it allows us to design quite advanced shapes, but in complete confidence that we're not doing anything that's going to cause problems further down the, the production process. NX allows us to really drill into the detail on things. If we're doing the full mechanical engineering, we're making sure that what we're seeing when we're first talking to people follows through the whole process from initial concept designs in NX all the way through. We have never ever had a situation where our creative intent has been restricted by the tool. NX is a really powerful tool for industrial design when you're actually working within the context of a, a large brand and you're doing a family of products. And NX allows us to create uh, one sort of piece of basic geometry for a product with all of the key uh, features in it which make up the brand identity and then we can take that piece of basic geometry and link it in to all of the other parts of the modular system to create a, a very consistent look and feel and it saves us a lot of time and obviously it saves the customer cost because we're able to reuse um, data that we've created without having to go back and start from scratch with every new project. Running NX has meant that the quality of the options is better. Any shape that we can kind of create in our heads or sketch on paper or create in the modeling studio, we don't have any problem recreating that on screen in a, in a constrained and controlled way using the, the modeling tools. But on top of that, you got all this analysis. And that's brilliant because the analysis feeds the information back to the designers to take better decisions. When we're modeling, there are, there are certain tools that we're using continuously. So the advanced visualization techniques in NX do allow us, for example, to look at reflections on a surface. Then you can go to the stage of actually putting curvature combs on there to check tangency and curvature continuity. One of the specific elements of NX that we love is a thing called WAVE. One of the ways that Wave has helped us on a, a project where we were doing a, a Bluetooth headset for Q-Stick is that one of the guys is actually able to model the, the Bluetooth headset itself and 
make sure that all the details were great on that whilst another guy could wave link the actual blob or the basic form of that headset into a, another file and start creating the cradle and everything that it interacted with. So it allowed two people to be running on the same project. When we do concept modeling, we do our design in, in, in two phases. And in the early phases, we don't have to be quite so tight about thinking about parametric structures for things. It's a hybrid modeler, so you don't actually need history. History is there to help you build. So what Synchronous does is it means that if we're creating a shape and we come into a review and we say it's a little bit too square at the top and someone says, well, if I try and make that change, it's going to blow up my model, um, that won't happen anymore. The synchronous technology is very easy to use. You can move things a mill here, you can close up around these key apertures, you can change the flanges on things. So a, a real benefit there, and again, it stops the data going backwards and forwards, which is always going to be saving time. The other project that we get is when somebody wants to do a facelift on a three or four year old design. Synchronous just takes a bit of the hassle and uh, the time out of getting legacy projects off archive and integrating them into new projects. NX has been at the heart of our process for over 10 years. The flexibility of NX, the fact that it can do absolutely anything that we want it to do, is priceless to us. It's really changing the way designers work and the way they contribute to innovation.